everyone is lucky here in the United States to have water that they can just open any tap, get water out of it, and, and be able to drink it. Safe, clean, and reliable water provided by WSSE 24 7 to 1.8 million residents in Montgomery and Prince George's counties. EPA says that all the purveyors of water must protect the water. That's our job. So every time we have a connection to a facility or a residence, has to have a protection on. A cross connection protection device, otherwise known as a backflow preventer, is intended to keep contaminated water from actually flowing backwards into the clean water distribution system. That protects everyone who uses the water system. There's many, many cases, unfortunately, of, of where backflow has occurred and water from cooling systems, heating systems, fire sprinkler systems, and certainly much other more hazardous uh, applications has made its way back into the drinking water, either making people sick or worse. And as WSSC deals with the challenge of an aging infrastructure, backflow prevention is more important than ever. As a water main breaks, depressurizes the system, that is when the water system is subjected to a negative pressure where a backflow condition could occur. That's why all backflow preventers in the WSSC district need to be tested on an annual basis. That's the biggest challenge we're having now is to get everyone to comply and understand what they have at their business uh, what type of backflow they have, and what they have to do on an annual basis. WSSC is sending out hundreds of letters every month. Reaching out to the property owners, the tenants, and the building owners, uh, commercial industrial properties, uh, asking them to do a self-survey, provide us information about, about what's going on at the property, where the water is going, how it's connected to various pieces of equipment, uh, when's the last time the backflow preventer that was installed at the time of new construction, When's the last time it was tested? There could be as many as 200,000 backflow preventers in the WSSC district, but only about 15,000 are currently accounted for. That's why it's more important than ever that all WSSC customers, especially the commercial and industrial users, complete the self-survey and comply with the annual testing requirements. Every year, the, uh, a property owner and or the uh, qualifying con controlling tenant should have a plumbing firm come in uh, who has cross-connection certified technicians, can test the backflow preventer, uh, certify that it is in operational condition. If it's not, then it would need to be rebuilt or replaced as needed. We explained to every one of these businesses why they need to have this protection, what the protection is for, and what it will prevent. Everywhere where water goes in, there's a potential for a backflow, and they've got to protect it. Like fire sprinkler systems, every commercial building has one, uh, so there's a need for a backflow preventer there. When it comes to your house, a very small number of newer homes may have a backflow preventer on the fire sprinkler system that needs your attention. You can get more information on our website. But all lawn irrigation systems are required to have a backflow preventer and it must be tested every year. Most of the irrigation systems residential are pop-up heads. So when you put down weed and feed and fertilizer, the head pops up and washes the grass. Well, when it goes down, it puddles. If we get a main break or a fire where the fire department opens a hydrant, that's going to draw everything back from that neighborhood. And that's also going to draw whatever's sitting on the ground right back into that irrigation system. That's why that backflow preventer on the irrigation system is critical, that it's tested annually and it's working. Whether you're a residential or commercial customer, WSSC is here to help you. You call WSSC Cross Connection Office, We'll send someone out to take a, a look at your system and tell you exactly what you have. For complete details on the Cross Connection Control Program, visit our website at wsscwater.com and look under the Business tab. Click Regulatory Services, then Cross Connection Control Program.